Hey guys, welcome to Rant Bike Apps, and today's tutorial we're going to be making an in-app emailing, and so, let's just hop into Xcode. So, here we are, create a new project, and view base application, let's just call it email. Save it and choose it. So, here we are, let's just stretch everything out, make everything how we want it to be, adjust the sizes, and let's hop into... Our frameworks and right click reveal and finder and look for the message UI framework here it is and drag it over and drop it in there and click add so uh, after we've done that let's just close it back up and hop into our .m file and let's just real fast import it so add import little dash thing message just type in the ML pop up and end thing and let's hop into our H so once we are in, a, in our dot h we want to make an ib action real fast and dash ib action and let's just call it email and add a semicolon to it so now let's just go on our dot m and let's just add that real fast that we made so dash ib action and let's just call it email because that's what we called it and let's just put two semicolons and space it out and that's it so once you're done with that let's just go into our xib and double click on it once it loads up let's just move everything and add a button real fast stretch it out and name it whatever you want to name it I'm just gonna name it email me put it wherever you want it to be and just for the sake I'm gonna put the background as blue save it now you want to connect everything so let's go to files owner connections email drag it to email me touch up inside and save it and quit it so once you're done with all that let's just hop into our dot m and i've already got it so i'm just going to copy and paste it so i'm just deleted it here it is and here's all the code and down here all this stuff this is all the stuff where it's going to say like sent and stuff and received and see if you do here and press enter all your all your options are there so saved alert failed canceled all this so you could just choose one and you could edit the e email and stuff like that so this is the actual code right there and this is where the subject is so I'm just gonna put test so this is all the code and hopefully all this code because it's a lot of code hopefully it'll be in the description I'm not sure but real fast I'm gonna change it to 3.1.2 and go to setting project settings. Scroll down, and just change it real fast if you want to do that. And follow your options. Just go there and 3.1.2 and hit build and go real fast. And it should compile, but actually I do have an error, two errors, and I just forgot to add it in there because I copied and pasted. I'm just gonna put email, which we named it before, and I'm gonna hit build and go again. Save all. And this time I get one warning, and you guys should get a warning too, but don't worry about that. That's normal. Just don't worry about it. It still works perfectly fine. So now we're just going to wait for it to launch up. And once it does, we should get our blue background and click email. And this view should pop up by test and there's a subject test and there's my email address and I'm just going to type in something. If you want to email me for any questions, comments, concerns, it's unobrandon at mac.com. You can press send and see, as you can see a message sent, sent and okay. So that's it and it's I actually go over here and check if it's in my email but in the simulator it does not work but if you actually have it in your iPhone it probably would actually send you. So that's it and Sorry if this is kind of weird because it's the first time actually I'm doing um, like voiceover, like whatever you call it. So if please rate, comment, subscribe, and, and tell me if you actually like this because I might do it again because I, I don't know. But thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. So see you later.